hasn't finished yet. It's going to be a photo. Can you believe this at the very line? This is amazing. Roglic. Roglic acaba de ganar la etapa número 5 de la Tirreno Adriático. Y por acá lo tenemos en la entrevista. Vamos a ver qué tiene para decir Roglic. Cruz Roglic, congratulations, second win in two days. Uh, how was it on the road? It was very, very windy. How difficult was it? Yeah, it was hard, huh? also for me uh, today, uh, even more than yesterday, yeah, because yeah, yesterday, like I said, was a bit of surprise, and but, uh, but yeah, today I suffered a lot, uh, and uh, yeah, super happy uh, again that uh, with uh, with the guys, uh, with Will really uh, helping me at the end, and yeah, all the guys before uh, make it happen that we, we came there, uh, yes, I could also finish it off today. Yeah, the guys before, because once again, perfect teamwork from uh, Jumbo Visma. Yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, we all know uh, is, uh, cycling is not individual sport. Everyone needs to, to really commit and do its, its, its work, its, uh, its thing. And uh, yeah, I mean, guys are great. Not much to say. I'm uh, looking uh, forward to, to do uh, yeah, our best also tomorrow. Tomorrow and after tomorrow and then like in two months, Giro d'Italia. Can we say that, that you're looking, are you ahead of schedule towards the Giro? Yeah, it's, uh, it's never stops. Huh? I mean, it's new races coming, new things. You, you want to win one, you want another one and another one, but uh, yeah. Enjoy it, huh? like uh, was uh, was great. I have to be super happy with it now, and uh, yeah, uh, like I said, uh, first uh, first tomorrow, and uh, then up to the next ones. But we're from Belgium, and we're we're talking a lot about the Giro d'Italia. We see you uh, as a big contender for Remco Evenepoel. H how do you feel about that? Is this a serious warning towards him? <laughs> uh, I mean. Uh, no one needs to prove nothing to, to no one, and I mean, I also know it, uh, he's, uh, he's super strong, he will be super strong, uh, and uh, yeah, I can just take care of myself, huh? uh, my guys around, that uh, we are ready, we do our work, and uh, we see that at the end, so yeah, what that means uh, in the numbers, or how you would call it. Yeah, you must have worn now, because how many jerseys do yeah, you have? So, uh, I think around six, uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, it was, uh, was cold uh, coming on the top. Okay, <laughs> thanks man, thank you. Ahí lo vemos en el photo finish. Roglic gana por una bicicleta de ventaja sobre sus demás eh, oponentes. Uy, ahí lo vemos. Ese que ese que era el cóndor. Ojo, que el cóndor es de Colombia. Aquí lo podemos ver claramente. Me recuerda a Vinen Girmay que está diciendo: Retírense, retírense porque va a abrir la botella. Miren ese corcho. Uy, cómo sale disparado ese corcho. Qué violencia de ese corcho, Dios mío. Y ahí está Primo Roglic recibiendo la camiseta de líder. Así es, Primo Roglic es líder. Aquí está la etapa, resultados de la etapa. Primo Roglic ganador con 4 horas, 38 minutos y 32 segundos. En la segunda casilla entró Yulu Chicone. Tercero para Tao Gengenhardt. Cuarto para Jay Hindley. Eh, quinto para Lennart Karna. Sexto para Alexander Blasov. Eh, séptimo para Mikel Landa. Octavo para Joao Almeida, noveno de Mendo Carruso y décimo Brandon Manulti. Pero la general, ¿cómo va? Aquí está. Corrida la etapa 5, Primo Roglic ya es líder. Segundo lugar para Lennart Kamna a 4 segundos. Tercero, Joao Almeida a 12 segundos nada más. Cuarto para Brandon Manulti a 17 segundos. Quinto para Wilco Kelderman a 19 segundos. Sexto, Tao Geigenhardt a 19 segundos. Séptimo es Alexander Velazo, 21 segundos. Octavo para Jay Hindley, 22 segundos. Noveno para Giulio Chicone a 24 segundos. Y cerrando el top 10, el corredor del Movistar, Henry Mas. Así es. Bueno, esta era la las palabras de Primos Roglic. Tras ganar la etapa número 5 de la Tirreno Adriático.